sees the use of artificial intelligence becoming as common as using the internet to research for a paper. Some educators are pushing back on bringing AI into the classroom, but not everyone. KNBA's Christina Randall tells us why certain local teachers are for the new technology. For U of A students, Anna Grace Adams and Ashley Gay, they use AI for creativity. Writing a paper, I'll use AI as kind of a reference um, to get some ideas and to get some headings or some topics. Um, and then I'll also use uh, AI to check my paper for any grammar mistakes or writing mistakes. But I can also see where it could be an issue because of like, not, it's not your own personal thoughts. Dr. Shadow Robinson is the vice chancellor at the University of Arkansas, Fort Smith. He says throughout the years, as technology has grown and become a part of our daily lives, educators have had to learn ways to integrate technological tools in the classroom. With, with every new technological advancement, what we run into is that suddenly we have tools that can do things that not only can humans do, but we have intentionally been teaching them how to do for some time. But this is not the first time teachers have had to adapt to technological advances. Take, for example, the calculator. Certainly many of us memorized our multiplication table when we were in K through six. The calculator has always been able to do that better, but having a working understanding of it makes all of us better at using the calculator. Dr. Robinson says these advancements can help us do our jobs more efficiently. First place I ever heard about AI actually wasn't through my connections with the concerns around cheating in an educational setting, but was because of so many contacts I have in the industry that were using ChatGPT to help them write code very quickly. He says educators should not push away this new technological tool, but to embrace it. We're not letting them learn how to use the tool we're doing essentially a professional disservice it would be like going back and having classes and saying you're never allowed to use the calculator you're never allowed to use the encyclopedia that was our christina randall reporting dr robinson says ai introduced to students as a tool could help them progress faster and even might help them understand concepts a little differently